Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. So today I have this little box here and we're going to see what's inside. As you can tell by the writing on the box, we have actually been sent a paint by numbers kit from the company Craft Ease. Now let's open it up and see what is inside. Now this is actually their full professional kit and it actually comes with quite a bit of stuff. Here you can see I have just a little um, reference sheet. This just shows where each number is so that when I'm painting over it, I can look back and see which you know number was what. And here we have the uh, blank painting. Now, if you haven't realized, this isn't just a piece of paper. This big painting is like a proper canvas. If I flip it over to the back, you can see it is a stretched canvas on uh, pine and it absolutely looks great. I've never seen a paint by numbers on a canvas before, but then again, maybe I haven't seen many paint by numbers. Here are all of the paints that I need for this kit. Now, it seems like it's vacuum sealed, which is quite interesting, but I guess it keeps it fresh. And then it seems like we have this little freebie here, which looks like a little scratch board thing. Interesting. Now that is not all that is inside here. It seems we do have quite a lot of paint brushes. If you've seen my uh, previous paint by numbers video uh, a while ago, <laughs> it actually came with only one paintbrush and that paintbrush was complete shite. So I'm really glad that this kit actually comes with not just, you know, one good paintbrush, but a bunch of them and it looks pretty cool. Now we do have this little cardboard stand here which looks like it is for all of the little paint pots to keep them together and also to like sort of help you know identify which number is which and I appreciate that I think it is quite useful. And now I have to open up these paints and uh, identify which number is which and also, you know, place them in their little, uh, little sections and also add the stickers on the top for which numbers they are. Because I'm probably going to be taking these out and putting them back, so kind of want those stickers on there. So now that that is all done, let's get into opening our paintbrushes and just having a little looky at them. Now this first little set here is what comes with pretty much all of their kits. Uh, and uh, yeah, these paintbrushes aren't too bad. I do like the soft fibers in the, you know, brushy part. <laughs> um, but it's interesting with the handles of those because it is a sort of raw wood kind of feeling. Now this extra packet is an addition to the, um, the professional kit and there is quite a lot of different shapes and sizes of these paintbrushes and yeah I have a lot of paintbrushes and that's quite useful because I, uh, I don't have too many left over. I kind of accidentally kill my paintbrushes so it's going to be good to have these. Now, first impressions of the paints here. As you can see, I'm using this uh, sort of light greenish yellow color, and it's not that bad, actually. It's pretty nice. It feels nice and creamy. It goes down smooth, and it looks nice and vibrant too, so that's good. And I feel like it's better than the paints in my previous Paint by Numbers uh, video. But that kit that I bought ages ago was like, a really cheap one at an op shop so I'm hoping this one would be better than that. Now the design I picked is actually called Skulled in Colors and I really love this design because I don't know it just stood out to me in a really cool way and the artist who created it his name is Ali Gulek. So we're starting to get into more colors here and I'm really trying my best to stay in the lines. <laughs> um, to be completely honest, uh, I'm not the best at staying in the lines when coloring something, even though I'm an artist and it's like kind of my job to do that. You can't really tell because I sped up this footage 
expect so much, but I actually spent a lot of time going really slow, just trying to stay in those lines. And it was very useful that I had so many paintbrushes in this kit that I could use a really, really fine paintbrush, paintbrush for the little tiny details and then a larger brush for the larger areas. And I even had a, like a choice between a sort of more flat paintbrush and a more round pointy paintbrush. So I feel like I, I'm pretty happy with the range that I got of those. But to be completely honest, I felt like more time was spent on actually trying to find all of the numbers <laughs> instead of just, um, you know, painting them. But that's more of a me problem than a problem with the actual canvas because to be completely honest, I'm not the best at, uh, you know, uh, recognizing numbers really quick. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I have a mild case of number dyslexia, if if that exists. It probably exists. But anyways, we're going on a tangent here. Back to the art. <laughs> um, so I've noticed a few colours here and there are slightly more uh, semi-transparent, like kind of half transparent, half opaque. And uh, that isn't the best for paint by numbers because you still can see the numbers a little bit underneath. And a few colours, just a few, not, not all of them, just a few, small amount. I had to layer up quite a bit just so that I had a nice opaque uh, sort of layer. And I feel like I wish that they sort of picked colors that were more opaque. But to be completely honest, a lot of paints are like that and specific pigments, like some yellows and stuff like that is really hard to get completely opaque, especially if you want the colors to be really vibrant because to make them opaque, you basically have to add like white to them, but then you won't get those deep saturated colors. So I completely understand on that front. I guess having a little bit more work and a better end result would probably be not a bad trade-off. And it's mostly only a few colors as well, like one of the dark pinks, one of the oranges and I think maybe one of the yellows. But yeah, if you haven't noticed, I'm trying my best to go from light to dark and I chose that method because I feel like with some of the colors, it would probably be easier to layer a darker color over the top of a lighter color as opposed to like putting a like a yellow over the top of maybe a black that went out of the lines. Because I feel like that probably wouldn't go too well. Now I tried my absolute best to um, keep the black for last. Now I couldn't, you know, do every single color uh, first before the black because to be completely honest, by the time I got to almost the very end, it was very hard for me to spot uh, some of the <laughs> some of the really tiny ones that were colors. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do the black now and that way any um, leftover blank pieces will show up easier and I'll be able to see them easier and uh, yeah we'll have a good time. Now I wanted to say something about this painting that I really do like and it has to do with the company that uh, gave me this painting. <laughs> now I'm not sponsored or anything, they haven't given me any money to make this video, they only sent me the kit just to try out. So, but I actually want to mention this myself, they do have an exclusive artist series in their paint by numbers section, which this painting is a part of. Now, the thing I love about that is that uh, their exclusive artist series is basically, you know, unique paint by numbers that are um, actually made by real artists. They are based on a real artist's like artwork and the really cool thing is if you buy uh, ones from the exclusive artist series, money from that actually goes to support the artist that created that, which is awesome. You're basically, you know, having an art outlet for yourself, but also supporting a fellow artist who helped create this design. And I honestly just love that. Anyways, we are wrapping up to the end of this video, but I have to say I did have a lot of fun with this Paint by Numbers kit. It is professional and fancy and uh, it was pretty good and I had a lot of fun doing it. So thank you Craft Ease for sending me this little freebie and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create it. 
I really like this design because I feel like I picked something completely different to what I would normally draw. I'm not usually one to draw skulls, especially human skulls. They kind of creep me out a little bit. <laughs> but um, I really love this one because it is so over the top and detailed and wacky and crazy. And it's kind of like psychedelic and all the colors look really explosive and vibrant. And I just really, really like it because yeah, that one stood out to me, I guess. So anyways, here is the final results for this painting and I hope you like it. And uh, check out Craft Ease if you like. Uh, I definitely recommend them and I think I might get another one for myself in the future. I hope you all have a lovely day. Please stay safe out there and uh, hit that little subscribe button too. I know you want to. See you in the next video. Bye everyone.